Hello, welcome to JTEC Suspension. Uh, today we're just going to run through a couple of uh, tests on a coil and air fork to show you the differences. Um, we're going to be using our new Andriani uh, DS1 spring dyno. Um, we've just got this and it's um, allowing us to measure exact spring rates um, all the way through the stroke of, of fork. Um, it will even do motorbike forks, all sorts. Um, but we, yeah, we'll, we'll show you. We've got an Olin's RXF 36 Evo Air. Um, we're going to test first and then we're going to test the coil version and show you the difference between the spring curve in each. So let's go. spring curve so there we have a typical air spring curve which slight rises quite quick in the first part of the travel dips a little bit in the middle and then progressive towards the end so we'll, we'll swap this out put the coil fork in and we'll show you the difference So we've got a coil fork mounted now, we'll give this a test and you can see the difference. So as you can see the the coil spring gives a nice linear curve and then just towards the end you can see it's starting to get progressive that's the air pressure build up in the lowers so as you can see from this compared to the air fork we have a softer initial part of the travel right up to 60 mil travel very similar through the through the mid travel but then firmer through the last third and it actually ends at a very similar point so you can see a coil fork isn't necessarily linear all the way through the travel it has got some progression so when you're considering purchasing a new fork and you can't decide between air and coil um, don't believe all the reports that a coil fork um, isn't going to be progressive there is a slight amount of progression pretty much in any coil fork um, some have systems of ramp up um, this doesn't but as you can see it, it is still designed to have some progression within that pressure build up in the lowers so that's why we pretty much always recommend the coil fork over the air the only time we'd recommend the air um, is if you want a lighter weight fork or it is possible to set the air fork up more progressive than that that is uh, the, the fork that we've tested there that's um, set up to um, an average amount of progression if you like so the it basically set up for an 80 kilogram rider as per Olin's uh, recommendations um, so it, it can be set up slightly more progressive but it can be set up less progressive as well um, but yeah we'd, we'd only really recommend the air fork over the coil um, if you wanted more progression or you wanted a lightweight fork um, otherwise cause the way to go yeah so thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time